Big story, a father remembers a son who was taken too soon. The father of fallen athlete Chase Flack breaks his silence about his son's tragic death. Craig Flack knew his two sons would be racing that day. Unfortunately, Chase did not live to cross the finish line. He collapsed feet away from the end and was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Local 5's Angelina Salcedo sat down with Craig to learn more about his son. He'd tackle anything. He really didn't have any fear. And Chase's daring personality would lead him to do what most wouldn't. Whether he was soaring on his dirt bike or climbing Mount Everest, he lived life to the fullest. At one, one and a half, uh, had a little electric four-wheeler that you're supposed to sit on and ride, you know, and, and the first thing he did, you know, was he was standing on the seat of it. We could tell then that this was going to be a wild ride. The 26-year-old always accomplished what he set his mind to. In high school, he broke wrestling records in Greene County. The biggest thrill was watching him wrestle through the years, you know, because those boys just came home and said, Dad, we're going to wrestle. Chase even ran road races with his siblings, the latest with his younger brother. Clint and him were running side by side the whole way. Chase never said anything, you know, and they did that last push and Clint went across the finish line and Chase wasn't there. He collapsed feet away from the dam to Des Moines finish line. His mom and brother were there but couldn't wake him up. It was absolutely the worst thing you can ever happen. As the days go by, the pain slowly sets in more and more. But Craig says Chase will always be his hero. You just, you want your kids to be, you know, better than, better than you are. And, and he was, yeah, he was, he was my superstar. In Jefferson, Angelina Salcedo, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Chase's family is focusing on the memories they have with him. His funeral will be held this Friday at 10 a.m. at the Greene County Middle School Gym.